In this video, we will demonstrate the T-Load system functionality. T-Load is a terminal automation system or terminal management. T-Load normally resides in a terminal and enables things like loading, unloading, tank movements, tank transfers, alarms, uh, and various terminal activity. Uh, there are several ways that you can load or unload at a terminal. In this particular video, we're going to just show one particular way. Uh, loading at a terminal can be analogous to a point of sale at a store, whereby a clerk types in, cer uh, types in certain prompts in order to create a transaction. So in this video, we're going to show you loading based on a on a planned order number or or so-called planned loading using an order number. In this particular scenario, the driver shows up at the terminal with an order number. The order number gets punched in at the uh, local load rack system, which is T-Load, and then loading starts. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna start by showing you a plan order uh, from SAP. Although a plan order could could come from any ERP system, in our example, it's gonna come from SAP. So the first part of the video, I'm gonna go to SAP and I'm gonna create a planned order. This is a TMW, which is an a, another system within SAP. Uh, I'm gonna search for plan orders. Now this is not T-Load, this is TMW, which is going to mimic creating a, a plan order in an ERP system. Ours happens to be SAP. Okay. I'm going to take uh, this particular order, I'm going to do change, and I'm going to save as new, and I'm going to approve this plan order. Okay. Okay, we have some errors. I think it's a duplicate order. Let me just put. Uh, oh. oh hang on. PP. Okay, approve again. Okay. Okay, now the order has been approved. So essentially, we have, uh, in simple terms, a supply of gasoline. Okay, this quantity is being supplied from this terminal, Z101, to this uh, retail station. Now, as I said before, this is a planned order in an ERP system. Ours happens to be in SAP. And we're going to show you in T load an order based loading. Okay, although there are many types of loading in T-Load, but order-based loading is just one of them. So I'm going to copy this order number, and I'm going to go back to T-Load. So this is the T-Load screen that's going to basically appear on any HMI that's sitting in the terminal. Now this screen uh, typically is customized for the terminal, for the commodity, for the operation. What we have here is a generic demo. I'm going to hit Start here. Okay, uh, this is, um, ag again, uh, this is the initial screen of T-Load, and this is just one way of doing loading. In this particular screen, you can see uh, where we can type in an order number. So I'm going to type in an order number, although there are so-called un unplanned loadings, like for these that are gasoline, but this is a planned loading, okay? I'm going to type in the order num number here. I'm going to hit search, and this is done normally with touch screens at the terminal. Okay, so basically now this is now T-Load as a local terminal automation system uh, uh, took to the back end ERP system and it pulled up the order inf information. At this point, the driver or the loader 
uh, is going to see a summary of what the order is about. So this is a, uh, a retail, this is a supply to a retail station. Okay. Uh, as I said before, T load is based is a prompt based system where a transaction is created from multiple steps or or multiple next buttons. These steps or 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 prompts are configurable per terminal or per commodity type or per activity. In this case, I'm going to hit next here. Okay, this is one prompt. For example, it's asking for vehicle number, trailer number, and driver number. This is all configurable. It's uh, this is nothing um, nothing set in stone. So this is just our particular demo. I'm gonna just type in any old number here. This pad appears because this this uh, system is designed for touch screens. So I can click vehicle number one two, trailer number one two, done and find driver okay i'm gonna pick this driver here okay again this is customizable and some of those steps may not apply uh, to you but typically there are uh, typically you have to give a vehicle number and a trailer number i'm gonna hit next now okay this is another step uh, in, in my example, I'm going to assume that this is done at the gate. So uh, as, as the driver enters the terminal, there's a screen where they basically confirm some of this stuff. Okay. So now this is the, the, this is the shipper, Holly Frontier, the salt is panics, but the master data here is fake. So uh, it doesn't mean anything. I'm going to hit finish. So this is basically the driver at some stage in loading, typically at the gate. Uh, finishes this particular step of loading okay now the second step again these steps it, they don't have to be this way this could all happen in, in one step it just depends on the terminal uh, topology and, and how it's set up sometimes there are gates we have to type in an order number sometimes the, the gate is manual Sometimes you load at the same place or you you load over the scale. Sometimes you load, well, you scale, then load, then you scale at, at, at different places. So this is basically now mimics the second step. I'm gonna hit search here. And again, now this order was very fast. So this is the second step. Now I'm gonna take the empty weight of this truck. Okay, I'm gonna hit this button, empty weight. And remember, this is all done via touch screens at the terminal. So this is done with somebody actually uh, clicking this button with their finger. Okay. So now this is just a, a random weight. This is a tail weight of the truck, uh, 23,000 pounds. And by the way, I'm doing a pickup. I can do a drop off or a return. So this is the operation type. It, uh, again, this is customizable. It depends on what's being loaded and, and what terminal. I'm going to hit confirm here. Okay. Now I'm going to hit finish again. Okay. Now I'm going to pretend that the driver has basically has done two steps so far. They came to a gate, they tapped in an order number, and they went and did a, a, a tear weight. Of their truck now they're gonna drive off to the actual loading rack or loading station so again at the loading station there there's gonna be another station where they can interact and basically uh, start to load the truck and this is what the station is so this is the third the third step I'm gonna hit search okay so again this is a summary of the of the order uh, and I'm going to hit this button called load. Okay. Just remember all those buttons and all those steps, they're really customizable. So this is just a generic demo. I'm going to hit load. Okay. And now this is just essentially where the, the trucker is sitting at a load rack. And this is in a picture of the truck. Uh, it shows that this, uh, the, there's a green light on permissive number one. Okay. 
I'm gonna scroll down here. And uh, this is the planned weight of the of the order. I can pick an item, a tank, but in, in in our demo, it's not necessary. I'm gonna hit start here. When I hit start, essentially now T load is gonna communicate to the uh, hardware, the pumps and so on, and it's gonna trigger loading. So now the pumps, now the pump is basically running. The truck is being loaded. A meter is calculating, and we're essentially we're uh, listening to a meter pulses. Uh, the communication or the, the the actual loading process could happen through T load, or it could happen through a preset like uh, like uh, FMC uh, or uh, AccuLoad or or better count. Now I'm gonna hit stop because I'm I'm done basically. I'm basically loaded almost half the truck. Now I'm gonna say finish loading. Okay. So now I'm done. Now the driver has loaded the truck at the load rack, and essentially the last step should be the driver going out and uh, obtaining a gross weight of the, of the truck. So now the driver draw back to the scale, and they're, they're at the scale station, and they're going to obtain the truck gross weight. So I'm going to tap in the order number again. This is essentially the last step of this order, okay? So I'm gonna say loaded weight. I'm gonna click on this button here. And now I'm sitting at the scale. It shows me here how much was the tear weight. And now this is my gross weight. Uh, now essentially this uh, simulates talking to a scale device. A scale device is going to talk to lead uh, to a T load, typically via serial or or a PLC or some method like that. I'm going to hit confirm. This is essentially the last summary page that that, that the driver is going to see. And this is all really customizable based on based on the business unit, commodity, what's being shipped, and so on. So that uh, the last step. The driver is going to sign this BOL on the screen. So I'm going to sign this BOL on the screen. And they're going to accept and generate BOL. Okay. And now the BOL essentially has been created. And uh, now it should print, uh, it should print um, at the local printer. So the driver is going to pick it up. The last step in this particular uh, uh, demonstration is I'm going to show you the BOL being sent back to the ERP system. Our ERP system happens to be SAP, but it could be any other ERP system. Uh, in, in this demo, it could be set up where the BOL is sent to SAP immediately. But in this demo, we actually broke it down to a, uh, to a second step. So sending the BL to SAP is done by a separate job or a separate program or something like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this uh, menu. It's called SAP Order Sync. I'm gonna type in the order number here. I'm gonna hit search, and this is the order number. Now click send to SAP. There's some error with the web service call communication. 